NBA. Grant, do players get just as pumped up as the fans for the first game of the season? I think they do. I mean, everybody, players, coaches, organization, fans, everybody gets excited for opening night. It's impossible not to. All the work these players put in over the offseason, the training camp preparation, it pays off right here and now. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. DeAnthony Melton out there with Shake Milton. And it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Harris. Here he goes. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. There's a lot to like about Tobias Harris. His comportment, his versatility. He's adaptable. I think that stands out as well. I mean, he's had to play a lot of roles on different teams, and he's done them all at a high level. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, with Harris, he's willing to sacrifice a larger role for the betterment of his team, Clark. Yeah, and B.A., I think that speaks to his desire to play winning basketball, to play the game the right way, to play to his strengths and not try to do more than he can, whether he's looked at as a primary scoring option or simply being a spot-up shooter or one of three options. Harris has that disposition that says, I'll do whatever it takes. Yeah, and despite being the youngest team in the league, the Thunder have been solid defensively the last couple years. A great sign going forward for this franchise. Now here's Gilgis Alexander to the inside. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Philadelphia with the ball. And looking at this Oklahoma City roster, what makes them so good on D? Well, they have loads of length. The Thunder have made a point to draft players with huge wingspans, making things difficult for opponents scoring-wise. Embiid misses. Giddy against Melton. Got a piece of it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Last game, he had 28 points. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Four on the clock. Melton with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Releases. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And with this matchup being East first West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. Now here's Thibel. Pass to Milton. Now here's Melton. This one for three. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Shot clock at six. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. they got to get up a shot. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The 76ers have gone one for three so far. Melton against Williams. Milton for three. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Boy, not the kind of start they wanted. Only one for four so far. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Philadelphia has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Dybel passes to Milton. Now Embiid. Williams defending. Williams against Embiid. Over Williams. He tries again. Embiid misses. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. It's Giddy on the wing, covered by Milton. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Giddy. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Using his post moves to get the two points. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket of the game. 
Here's Embiid. Over Williams. And it falls all over the rim and in. How about the soft jumper of Joel Embiid? When the ball comes out of his hands like this, you feel like it's going in every time. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Highlight reel dribble move. And then the athleticism takes over. Woo! Yep, he wasn't going to be denied there. Showing all the skill. Well, I tell you what, he deserves to do some collar popping after that sequence. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just three for seven here at the start. Back to Giddy. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The Sixers leading. Milton passes to Melton. Embiid is screen on Giddy. From deep, Melton hits the trifecta. Melton's got six. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now Gilgis Alexander. He has six. Here's Giddy. Blocked. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Melton. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Five on the clock. Gilgis Alexander against Milton. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Philadelphia has gone two for four from range to start things off. Harris outside. Pass to Melton. Fires from deep. And the 76ers another three. Perfect dime drop that time. Nice execution of the bounce pass. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Shake Milton. I love when Gilgis Alexander looks to score because it forces the defense to act. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the 76ers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. First one falls for him. Watching SGA run this offense, he's so patient, and he reads the defense exceptionally well. It's both from the stripe. Yeah, Gilgis Alexander really plays at his pace, Grant. You know, B.A., he's one of those guys the defense just can't speed up. And every move is purposeful. No wasted motion. He methodically breaks you down. Now here's Harris. Let's it fly. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Perfect from the line this time. 
You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Give him eight. Outside Giddy. Good D by Melton. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Giddy with it. Milton covering. Outside Giddy. Tipped away. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Melton. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. A line change here for Oklahoma City. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Thunder have really struggled the last couple of years. Yeah, remember back when they had Durant, Harden, and Westbrook? Oh, quite a lineup. Not that they need three superstars again, but they need some sort of boost. And the basket by Joe. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Harrell, a screen on Williams. Down low. Gets stolen by Muscala. Outside, Williams. Right wing. Pass to Baisley. Here's Joe. Beyond the arc. Sinks the tray. Now just a four-point Philadelphia lead. And, you know, even though he's not a lights-out shooter from deep, the defense still has to be more aggressive there. And here's Melton. Pass to Harrell. Here's Niang. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Oklahoma City has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Baisley. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Melton outside. Niang a screen. Out to the right wing. For three... It's hauled in by Baisley. And for Oklahoma City, they're shooting just 38% so far in this one. Williams on the wing. Pass to man. And it's Harrell with a rebound. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Here's Korkmaz. Melton outside. Oh, they need this. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the double. Williams on the wing. Back to man. Picked up by Baisley from the high post. And he can't get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Pass to Niang. The Thunder pull it in. Here's Joe. He's got six. Here's Mann. Picked up by Baisley. The drive by Mann. Second chance effort. Here's the three. That one doesn't drop. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. Pass to Korkmaz. There's the three. It's hauled in by Baisley. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Mann. Oh, 
A minute 15 left in the opening quarter. He's 0 for 5 after that miss. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Pass to Melton. Harrell with it. Here's Niang. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Just four to shoot. Here's Melton. That's basket number six and eight tries. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. To the paint. Niang. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. George Niang, not a guy who sees a bunch of minutes, but he certainly Shoot makes two. the most of opportunities as they come his way. The first one falls. And you have to be impressed how they're getting to the free throw line and taking advantage of those opportunities. Exactly. I mean, that's what's helped them build this early lead. And he makes both free throws. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Here's Baisley. Connects from downtown. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Korkmaz. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Inside. Now here's Melton. Tightly guarded. Off with the layup. Here's Joe. And so it's Philadelphia finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Their work from distance has been impressive, and it's put them in this lead right now. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Yeah, I like the way they forced a ton of turnovers and then took advantage of those turnovers with opportunistic baskets. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 9 so far from the perimeter. They've got Darius Baisley. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Kenrich Williams. And it's Williams in at the four man spot. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Outside Milton. Pass to Embiid from 10 feet away. Out to Harris. Korkmaz on the wing. No good on the triple. Oklahoma City's gone three of six from deep so far. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Ryan Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys. <laughs> All right, thanks, Allie. Now here's Harris. Embiid a screen on Williams. Just five to shoot. The Sixers with another miss. Oklahoma City shooting only 29% in this one. Not great. His first shot coming late. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number seven tonight. Harris passes to Milton. 
from the arc. They get the rebound. Embiid, good. Embiid's gotten his second bucket. More than likely, if there's a second chance bucket to be had, Embiid will get it. Makes him work even harder on the boards when he knows there's pay dirt at the end of it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Give him eight. Williams finds Gilgis Alexander. Picked up by Baisley. Pass to man. Jacks up a three. And he hits it. That makes him one for six for the game. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. And here's Harris. Lays it up and banks it in. Harris has got six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Man, misses. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Pass to Korkmaz. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. Now here's Harris. Last game for him, he had 14. Pass to Milton. Embiid, a screen on Williams. Milton for three. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. And the Thunder in possession here. Down by 12. Outside, Williams. Picked up by Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And he converts the layup. He's got 10. And the D can't allow Gilgis Alexander to get this positioning. Because once he does, he makes you pay. Embiid, a screen on Williams. Harris finds Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball two, two. game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot injury. And he makes a first. Well, give Philadelphia credit. They didn't rush MB back. They, in fact, trusted the process, pun intended, folks. And Joel has returned the favor. An MVP caliber center who changes a franchise. He is a franchise cornerstone piece. A great example of how being patient and doing what's best for the player ends up being a winning combination for all. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Yep, count it. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Pass to Korkmaz. Outside Milton. Embiid a screen on Williams. Here's Milton, the 11-footer. The Sixers again can't hit. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Takes the three. Count that one. He's now five for eight. You have to chase Gilgis Alexander off the arc. A guy with his confidence is just too dangerous. Williams against Harris. Screen by Embiid. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. For the Thunder, Williams has checked in for Baisley, and it's Lou Dort in for Williams. Oklahoma City on D. Seven-point differential. Milton for three. Can't get it to drop. Oklahoma City's gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. 
Backdoor outside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Softly drops in the floater. And now just a 5-point 76ers lead. This is a fellow who can fill it up. When Gilgis Alexander gets rolling, it throws the opponent's defensive plan into disarray. Now here's Harris. Six points for him. Good on the shot. Harris has got eight. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Dort outside. Williams against Harris. Williams passes to Giddy. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Harris with it. Give him eight points now. Back to Embiid. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Giddy. Don't care how strong you are, how big you are, what you think you can do. MB is a low to handle. And Joel will get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Here's Korkmaz. The Sixers with another miss. The Thunder have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Oh, sweet move. And there's the play by Gilgis Alexander inside. Gilgis Alexander's got 17. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Out to Harris. From outside the arc. Good. And the assist to Embiid. He's got 11. Yeah, you know, the three-point range Harris has added to his game makes him that much harder to defend. He always is somebody you've got to be aware of. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 17. Yep, that one's good. Well, they're still losing, but it's not because of him. He's been lights out this quarter. Embiid, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Embiid. To the wing on the left. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Embiid's got eight points in the quarter. And you have to appreciate the heart they've shown on the offensive boards this quarter. Well, it's paid off with a greater rate of second chance hoops. I mean, great effort to build this lead on their part. Now here's Williams. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And another shot. And it's laid up and in by Williams. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Gilgis Alexander against Milton. Embiid is screen on Gilgis Alexander. Milton passes to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz. The three. Nails it from three. Korkmaz has gotten himself on the board with a three there. Intelligent ball movement that time from Embiid. Getting it to a guy with a better shot. Pass to Williams. A different look for Oklahoma City. Muscala comes in for Williams. And Joe subbed in for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Niang, he's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Korkmaz. And the Thunder call time here.
and they were solid in the steals category. Top 15, a team you couldn't fall asleep against when handling the rock. And they were a solid rebounding team. As much as possible, they tried to set a physical tone in their games. Dort outside. Pass to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Off target with the three. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Milton. Here's Niang. The three ball. And then Embiid with the dunk. Watch out now. The process is at work. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Here's Joe. He has six. Now here's Giddy. Here's the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Muscala against Embiid. Milton for three. And he missed again. Now one of five. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Dort, the pass to Giddy. 152 left in the second quarter. Pass to Muscala. Now here's Dort from deep. The rebound by Melton. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. On target from range. Melton's got 20 points. He's hitting everything from deep, just flat out torching this defense. I don't think there's any question the Sixers made the biggest trade of last season, sending a huge package to the Nets and getting James Harden in return. Now here's Melton. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Melton for three. Sinks it from distance. Melton's got his second basket of the night. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Muscala against Embiid. Now Muscala. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Dort for three. Buries it from three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Milton passes to Embiid. Back to Milton. Out to the wing. Milton outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Giddy against Embiid. Muscala the screen. Pass to Joe. Dort for three. Can't hit that one. Using his size to full advantage. He beats everyone to the ball. And so it's Philadelphia, a sizable lead of 14 at the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball, uh, you know, get stops. And uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three.
Hello, everybody. Maybe a bit of a surprise in this one, but what a fantastic first half we witnessed for the Philadelphia 76ers. Want to build the big lead? Get yourself to the line. These guys have done it by pushing the action. They've been relentless. And they're putting the other guys in foul trouble. The game could be over by the end of the third quarter. Okay, time to discuss the first half of this one. Specifically, which guys are leading the charge for their teams? This is exactly what leaders do. They know what a win means tonight, and they're stepping up for their teams. Yeah, so difficult to cover either of them. Should be an interesting second half. Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Welcome back, everybody. Happy New Year's to all of you as we continue our broadcast. The Anthony Melton really making a difference here. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. Harrison Embiid playing up front. Shake Milton out there with DeAnthony Melton. And it's Thibel in at the three. Harris passes to Embiid over Williams. And he can't bank that one in. And the Thunder shooting just under 40% from the field. High arcing shot. And there's the play by Gilgis Alexander inside. Gilgis Alexander's got 21. And I like what the defense was thinking, but Gilgis Alexander just outworks them and gets his shot. Here's Embiid. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And no good. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Giddy against Melton. Knocks it loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Pass to Dort. And here's Giddy. Clock at six. Oh, he tries a three. It doesn't go for him. The 76ers go the other way with it. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel B drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Well, he's well on his way, Alley. Thanks. Good on that one. And he sinks the second. The Thunder have gone just one of three in the second half. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Gilgis Alexander gets himself open and drills it. Gilgis Alexander's got 23. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Screen by Embiid. Melton passes to Embiid. And stolen by Williams! Dort outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And he drops it in from the low post. He's got 25. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. 
Outside Milton. Now Melton. And here's Harris. He's got 11. Over Dort. Here's Embiid. Oh, they get a hand on it. Goes up again. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Baisley, he's checked in for Williams. about Embiid in addition to his tremendous skill and size is his willingness to keep working on himself. He's already an elite talent but if he sees any room for improvement he'll go to work to make it happen. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot by Dort no good. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Embiid finds Melton. On the take. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Embiid's got three assists in the game. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Man comes in for Giddy. The 76ers also with a sub. Harrell's checked in. The 76ers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Harris. Here's Harrell. Let's it go from 11. And he comes up with a bucket. Harrell's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, that's a good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. Love the consistency at the free throw line in this one, too, fellas. Getting a healthy number of points off trips to the line. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Melton. Drives to the hoop. Now here is Harold. Deflected! Outside Gilgis Alexander. He's feeling it. Buries the jump shot. Gilgis Alexander's got 11 points in the quarter. Moving or shooting, Gilgis Alexander has such precision, able to quickly lock in his shot. Harris down low. Williams defending. Harris against Williams. Harris misses. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Pass to man. Picked up by Baisley. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Korkmaz. Harrell, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. The Sixers again can't hit. The Thunder have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to man. Picked up by Baisley. The drive by Mann uses the glass to finish the layup. Mann's got five. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Korkmaz. Harris with it. He's got 11. Oh, 
Out of bounds. It'll be Oklahoma City's ball. And let's use this time to have a look at last year's steals leaders. And you look at Thibel. He's been a real pest on defense. Fourth in steals right now. Last year, he was really opportunistic defensively, creating havoc. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Outside, Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Tipped. And he gets it back. Here's Mann. Six to shoot. Three-pointer, no good. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Harrell passes to Thibel. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And they're able to recover. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the 76ers lead by 13. Yeah, this is how Harrell stays efficient in boosting the scoring average. Extremely active on the offensive glass. Here's Thibel. Rips down the breakaway slam. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. 30 points in the game. And the 10-footer finds the target. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points in the game. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Here's Korkmaz. Harris, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Baisley. Baisley's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander's got 15 points in just the second half. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. And because of the length and athleticism, Baisley can do a lot out there. He has that switchability on defense. He hits the glass so well, and I like where his offensive game is headed. And Philadelphia calls time here. Muscala, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. First in free throw percentage, fourth in lowest turnovers per game, and they earned a spot in the top ten for team blocks. They use their big men well to keep the paint locked up and not allow easy buckets. And looking closer at their free throw shooting last season, topping the league in that stat really shows you just how consistent this squad was from the line. Oklahoma City on D. They trail by 11. Pass to Harrell. And the foul called on Mike Muscala. That's his first foul of the game. And a luxury for this coaching staff. Grant Baisley is happy playing a primary or secondary role. And that's not always the case. You know, B.A., sometimes ego can get in the way. But Baisley's just doing what he can to help the team achieve its goals. Now here's Melton. 22 points for him. Pass to Harrell. That shot, no good. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Here's Mann. Melton covers. From downtown. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Harrell's got four rebounds in the game. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Back to Korkmaz. Pass to Harrell. And there's the rejection. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind.
Long range from the inbound. Niang, that's good. Niang's got five points. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Back to man. Launches it. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Give him eight. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Here's Korkmaz. Oh, the teardrop falls in. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Pass to man. Here's Baisley. Back to man. Picked up by Baisley. Misses the three. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Now here's Melton. Tight defense on him. And here is Harrell. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Niang. No good from outside. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Philadelphia has gone one of four here in the third from range. Pass to Korkmaz. Harrell, a screen on Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Mike Muscala. down the first one for the Thunder Giddies checked in for Muscala and Joe subbed in for Gilgis Alexander Joel Embiid he's checked in for the Sixers Milton comes in for Melton that's also good so he hits both free throws here's man give him eight points now He'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Boy, we're seeing inspired play out of them. And that's certainly reflected in the score. Embiid's shot is good. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's paying off. Pass to Joe. Here's man. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Shooting two. One falls for him. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now here's Milton. He's got seven. 
46 seconds left in the third. Six on the shot clock. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Let's it fly. The Thunder with the rebound. Giddy's got a rebound number five here tonight to the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. Here's Milton. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Here's Baisley. Pass to man. It's Giddy on the wing. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be right back. Moment ago, head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle. Doc, we're still in this. Just cut it a little bit. All right, just keep cutting. All you got to do is keep. Cut the lead right here. All right. Doc Rivers not looking to get it all back at once, but still with a definite sense of urgency. Yeah, you want your guys to feel comfortable enough to take their time and run their sets. But you can't afford to let this game get too far away from you. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Lugans Dort out there with Kenrich Williams. Then there's Darius Baisley, then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Mann in at the point. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Now here's Embiid to the paint. The kick out to Milton. Embiid inside. Giddy defends. Now here's Milton. Clock at six. Shots blocked, and Embiid with the slam. And the Thunder shooting just 42% so far in the game. Dort outside. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. From deep, Giddy. And it's Harris with the rebound. And so here is Philadelphia. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Pass to Baisley, and he jams it home with authority. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. Dort's shot is good. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Milton. Pass to Niang. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Giddy. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Williams against Harris. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Over Williams. And the 76ers tack on two more. 
Much respect to Tobias Harris. I mean, his touch has gotten better and better, and it seems to be the case every season. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And now we present our new balance player of the game, DeAnthony Melton. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shots and was knocking them down. Well, it didn't start out with him being in this crowd's crosshairs, but as the game went along, he kept pouring it on them. It's safe to say they don't want to see this guy anywhere near their arena for a long, long time. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Back to you guys. As always, Ali, we thank you. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Here's Mann, covered by Milton. Dort for three. Drops in the three. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Milton with a screen on Williams. Here's Embiid. And too long on the shot. For Oklahoma City, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Giddy. Dort with it. Embiid covers. Dort, the pass to Williams. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? Oh, BA, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles sure have too. always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you, but I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. The free throw drops for Williams. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. The Thunder making a switch here. Gilgis Alexander's checked in. And Williams drops them both. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Milton against Gilgis Alexander. Embiid finds Milton. Back to Embiid. Outside Milton. Five to shoot. Off target from three-point range. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Williams on the wing. Pass to Dort. The three is up. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They led by as many as 18. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. That'll be the first of three games played at home. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Dort. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. And stolen by Melton. Over to the left wing. Milton against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Niang to win the drought. Gets the three to fall. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you got to tighten it up on deep. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Shake Milton. Two. 
And he drops a first. Thibel, he's checked in for Niang. And so he hits both. Philadelphia has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Milton passes to Thibel. Now here's Embiid. Williams defending. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Here's Giddy. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Over Milton. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 38 points. A dynamic score. Gilgis Alexander is so good at finding his spots and executing. Williams against Embiid from deep. The Thunder with the rebound. So Dortch got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Outside for Dort. Takes a three. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists tonight. Melton passes to Thibel. Embiid against Williams. And the shot's good. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Harris. Two shots. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Second free throw, no good. The 76ers have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Dort against Melton. Embiid a screen on Dort. Here's Melton, and he dunks it down. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Good. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Embiid a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Embiid inside. Working on Williams. Offensive board. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got 30 points. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And it's blocked by Embiid. 
Look at how well Embiid uses his size on defense there, swatting down the shot and doing it with authority. And Gilgis Alexander missing. Philadelphia has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Melton passes to Milton. Embiid a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. That's tipped. From deep three-point range. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. Then on Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. It's no secret around the league that this team loves playing in their own building. They're loaded with home games over the next stretch, so this is a chance to win some ball games. From nine feet, and the shot goes down. Gilgis Alexander's got 41. You know, even if this game doesn't go their way, I think he's got to be proud of how he performed tonight. Milton finds Thibel. Now here's Melton. Harris, a screen on Giddy. Here's Melton. The ball's knocked loose. On the wing, Milton. Williams defending. It's scooped up. Embiid. And here's Harris outside. Here's Embiid. And finally, they hit one. Embiid's got 13 points in this quarter. Coming out of the half now, making a commitment and concentrated effort to get to the offensive boards has proven fruitful. And the Thunder call time here. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Williams, a screen on Milton. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Korkmaz has checked in for Philadelphia. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Boy, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunities. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. The Sixers leading. Melton outside. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Gilgis Alexander's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Giddy. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists tonight. The 76ers shooting pretty well in the fourth at 
Pass to Korkmaz. The three. Here's Embiid over Williams. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Oklahoma City trailing. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Just five on the clock. Off target from outside. Dort's gotten only four of his 11 shots to fall here so far. Melton with a screen on Gilgis Alexander to the wing, right side. And Embiid gets the double team. Dybul against Dort. Dybul passes to Melton over Giddy. It's deflected. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Melton. Giddy defends. Here's Embiid. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And at 250 LBs, Embiid is a terror inside, using that large frame to draw those fouls. Free throw is good, and that'll push the lead to double digits. The Thunder making a switch here. Mann's checked in. And Embiid drops them both. And the Thunder shooting around 53% in the fourth. Giddy into the lane. Over Melton. And it's Kitty missing. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor. And misses like that are the reason why. Now here's Melton. Embiid is screen on Kitty. Melton passes to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz. No good with the triple. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Dort. Launches a three. The rebound by Embiid. And here are the 76ers. They led by as many as 18. Williams against Melton. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Tobias, congratulations on the win. Do you sense this team is building good chemistry? All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long, everybody.